I'm a big advocate of educating about Williams syndrome. Yeah. And that's because I feel like so many, from what I've heard, is a lot of families have kiddos that just go undiagnosed for a long time, especially if they're not like in a big city, basically, because it's rare. And so a lot of times doctors may have not seen it before. Wow. Um, and just so that people are aware of, you know, the difficulties that other people face, right? So she has Williams syndrome. It's a partial deletion of chromosome seven. It happens spontaneously. So it's not like, Whoa. you know, it's not inherited or anything. It's just a spontaneous thing that happens. Um, and it deletes the part of um, that codes for the elastin gene. And that gene makes elastin, which is in every single tissue in our body. So in every organ, um, it's what makes your arteries pliable and like be able to expand and, and, you know, get smaller and all that kind of stuff. And so as a result, it can affect every single system of the body. Um, it obviously affects like, you know, the way that her like ligaments and all that kind of stuff are formed. Um, so that's why she sees so many specialists because the, um, you know, it can affect like the kidneys, the GI system, the esophagus, the, I mean, the way the brain develops, all that kind of stuff. And so, um, the hallmark characteristic of kids with Williams syndrome is they're extremely friendly and yeah. outgoing yeah. and that's, they call it like it makes the, sense. the cocktail party personality yeah. or whatever. Yeah. 